In order to find the acceleration of an object, we need both its initial and final velocities. Now we know the final velocity, because the problem tells us that the car comes to a stop, not moving, zero velocity, but we don't know the initial velocity. But we do know that the car is initially moving at a constant velocity, where it travels 120 meters in 5 seconds. This is useful for us, because remember that velocity is equal to the distance traveled divided by time. So to find the initial velocity, we can just take the distance it traveled and divide that by the time interval, which in this case is 120 meters divided into 5 seconds, which is 24 meters per second. So the initial velocity is 24 meters per second. Now we need to use this to find acceleration. And acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time. So it's the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time interval. So we know the final velocity is zero, as we just discussed. The initial velocity is 24 meters per second, and it's divided by a time interval of four seconds. So if we put this into a calculator, we get negative six meters per second squared. This is a negative because it's being slowed down, but the problem specifically asks for the magnitude of the acceleration, meaning the negative sign is irrelevant. So the first answer to this problem is positive 6 meters per second squared, because when we take the magnitude of something, we ignore any negative signs. But the problem also asks for the acceleration in g's, meaning the acceleration as a multiple of the gravitational acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared. So to find it in g's, all we got to do is take the acceleration we found and divide it by the gravitational acceleration. So that's 1g for 9.8 meters per second squared. So we divide those things, and then we get uh, 0 0.61. So 0 0.61 g's is another way to represent the acceleration of the car. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.